Was you in contact with Tupac when he was in prison? Um, no, nah, I didn't talk to him while he was in prison. What was your reaction when he signed the death row in Suge Knight? Uh, when I heard about it, I was I was a little confused, you know. Um, and then I heard that he didn't necessarily have to, that he was going to get out anyway. But I think Pop, you know, just wanted to be with it. He wanted a team that could, you know, that rock with him the way that he wanted to rock. You know what I'm saying? I think at the time he, he was he was bent on getting back at, uh, what do you call it? Big and Puffy and Death Row and whoever else that he perceived that did him did him dirty. And now he had a, you know, he had a crew that was gonna ride with him or that he could ride with to get back at him. You know, that was, that was, they had muscle. Cause Pac, Pac was a superstar without any label. He was a superstar. So he didn't need, he didn't need any label to elevate his stardom. So that wasn't it, you know what I mean? Um, I guess he felt that that was, that was a fit for everything else that he, you know, kind of wanted at the time. And you said Tupac didn't have to sign with Death Row, so it was another way he could have got out of prison without signing with Suge Knight? I mean, if he, if he would have just waited, he probably would have got out in a few more months, you know. No, he was? I didn't know that. Right, and I, you know, like I said, this is without knowing the full details before, from what I understand, he he didn't have to, like he wasn't, he wasn't looking at years more you know, he, he he was gonna get out, you know. Now that might have been, that might have been two months, three months later, but also I wasn't locked up, so I don't know, maybe he needed to get out, I don't know. You know, I can't say if it like, oh yeah, I could have did three more months. I can't say that because I didn't, I didn't experience it. But um, all I'm saying is from what I understand, uh, he did. He didn't need death row to get him out. You know, he was gonna get out eventually. Yeah, man. I had no idea, man. That's news to me. Was you in communication with Tupac when he was on death row? Was you around him? Um, we spoke a couple of times on the phone, and uh, and uh, and um. I seen him twice. I seen him twice. We spoke a few times and I seen him twice. Um, so how was them two run-ins like when you seen him? Go into detail about that. Well, he came to he came to our video for Oregano Flow. Um, we shot in L.A. and it, you know he came and hung out, um, and you know he bought. I think Suge was up there, you know, he bought the whole entourage. That was like the first time that I had seen him in person since he was signed to Death Row. So, you know, he was, he was, he had like the Gucci suit on, you know, he was, you know, looking like a million bucks. And, you know, that was the first, probably the first time I seen him not wearing like sneakers and jeans and shit like that. You know, he was, he was uh, Versace down at the time. So that was new. So, um, but he had a lot of people around him, right? So it wasn't like we had a, a detailed conversation when I saw him. It was kind of like we just hung out, shot the shit, was drinking and kicking it around everybody. Plus everybody wanted to, you know, our whole crew was there. So it's all of us seeing Pop for the first time since he's, you know, now he's living this new life, right? Um, the last time I saw him was at the House of Blues. And you're gonna be mad at me, but I'm a I'm gonna save that story because I talk about it in my book, and I actually have a a, a song where I go really really in detail about that. But um, yeah, that was the last time I seen him was in the House of Blues, and that's when we really really talked and had a, a real conversation. Right, and you also said that Tupac um, invited you to the um, California Love Remix video, right? But you didn't want to go. Yeah, that was that was when we talked on the phone. So we talked on the phone a few times, and he had invited me to come down to, you know, a week one weekend he was shooting videos or whatever. But 
I decided not to go just because, you know, I had heard that uh, it just wasn't an environment that he could be himself, per se, or that he could even give anybody f full attention because he was just super locked into that lifestyle. Right. So I got to ask you, keeping it a book, do you think Tupac changed when he joined Death Row and got around Suge Knight? Because that's what I get when I listen to you. I mean, keeping it a buck, like, who doesn't change? Like, by the time he saw me, I had changed. You know, I had experienced some things. So, you know, remember, not only, not only was he with Death Row since I had seen him, but he had been shot, he had been to jail, accused of rape. You know, he had been sued several times. That changes you. You know, right? I'd been through some relationships. I was I was a different nigga too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. Like I had moved a couple of times. I was a different motherfucker. So you know, I don't know where people think that you're supposed to remain the same person. If I don't see you for nine months, you've changed. Trust me. You know our experiences make us. 